This is the Navage Nasal Care Saline Nasal Irrigation System right here. And we're going to about to unbox this, try it out for the very first time. I've done the neti pot stuff, but I've never really done a nasal flush like at a doctor's office or something like that. But this is supposed to like eight ounces, I think it is, or something like that. And you get these little saline pods mixed with distilled water. It irrigates, flushes in and out, sucks, pushes through one nose and out the other and irrigates eight ounces. But you've probably researched this and you kind of know what it's about. And you just want to see another demonstration because there's a lot of these gags, demonstrations, and joke things out there. But I want to take this serious because I believe... Nasal irrigation is a key to avoid sickness, and um, nose health is cool, you know? I mean, because we breathe in a lot of junk every single day, and to flush all that out and start fresh every day, it has got to be good for you. And I've heard a lot about this, so I really was looking forward to getting my hands on it. So we're going to open it up, look at it real quick. Uh, demonstrate it with some distilled water which I recommend doing uh, this comes with like 18 pods or something like that I think but I bought also an extra 30 so they recommend doing like a 10 day challenge of twice a day for 10 days and then every day after that uh, once a day but I'm just gonna do once a day every single day and that kind of makes it easy to uh, subscribe and save via Amazon so there'll be links Amazon links to all this stuff and I think they sell like a 90 day supply so you can auto renew subscribe and save to that and get that shipped to you like every three months and uh, it seems to be pretty cheap with subscribe and save 15% off so I would go that route but anyway links will be down in the YouTube description and also I'm gonna you know of course use this every single day so you can always ask me in the comment section uh, how I still like it or whatever and I'll re reply surprise gift inside right here it looks like an extra 10 capsules so you get an extra 10 and then the 10 that comes with it so that's 20 that's 20 days worth on top of the 30 so I have 50 days oh there's another pack in here hold on there's another pack of 10 so they gave me a 30-day supply with the unit and I have 30 over there so I have two months that's nice here in the package is the nose thingies that'll go in there we'll get into that later this is a cleaning device for these nose thingies and you'll be able to see in real time like gunk come out and basically what I do my regime already is uh, I use the Arm & Hammer canned nasal spray uh, once a day just shoot it up in there let it fall back out in the shower so that's not really irrigating, but I guess it could be. It's still considered that from a doctor's standpoint. So I guess I kind of am irrigating, but not really like this. This is eight ounces or something flushing, just constant flushing. So you kind of got, you know, if you get your finger in there, it'd probably go like across a clean set of teeth. Here it is in the baggie. It is sealed in a bag, which I really like that because this is something used for your nose. And this is the triangle of death, so saith Dr. Oz. So anything that happens in here can kill you. Well, and this is kind of what we'll be doing is, see this little graph here, this little photo. It kind of goes in one side, comes out the other, but you can flip those nose pieces around and reverse that stream. So I have a deviated septum. So if you're curious if it's gonna work with that, we're gonna find out. Now there is a fill line right here you're going to want to rinse this area out before and after each use and down in here it's a graph in the manual super easy there's a button here that will halfway press in that is to get your seal good to check your seal of it in your nose you can feel the suction of it and then you press it all the way in to activate the irrigation system and one thing in here too you'll take that q-tip and you'll clean these areas and the area underneath here uh, this part that plugs into here, make sure these O-rings that you can see are seated properly in its channels uh, before you put it in each time. Yeah, but the instructions are super clear everywhere on what to do, uh, even on the top here. Um, so I don't think you can really mess it up, and they do a good job of 
of uh, packaging this all up to make sure it stays nice and clean from the manufacturer on your first use. Stick this in, which it just fits in like so. There's no click or anything to this. It just kind of fits and seats flush right up against this. But you want to moisten this area here so it has a good seal around your nose. Here's the aluminum foil pod. We're going to put that down. There's some teeth in there that breaks through this aluminum foil. So we're going to set that like so and then you firmly press down. Clicks. You can see it's starting to mix. You can give it a shake for a few seconds to mix that saline in and that's it. Now I've moistened the tips. We're going to stick this in the nose. You remain calm. I'm going to squat down a little bit here. You remain calm. Look straight ahead. Breathe normally through your mouth. It's supposed to take the liquid around and back through your nose while you're breathing through your mouth. So I'm going to check for a seal and then I'm just going to start and then I'll flip it over and try the other nose. My deviated septum may only allow one to work. We'll figure that out. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to come in here for just a second. This is two weeks after I filmed this. Been using this every day for the most part because we went to the beach for like three days and I didn't use it then. But outside of that, I've been using it every day and I'm shoving this way too far through my nose, too hard. You just lightly put it in there and relax. I'm tilted too far back, I'm squatting down. I'm goofy, so the flow rate is slow. Uh, it's super fast now, you just relax, barely put it in there, halfway press the button down, uh, put the, uh, your tongue to the roof of your mouth back there and then halfway press the button and it'll suction up and create a seal. And then whenever you do that, uh, then you push the button down all the way and then open your mouth and start breathing and then it just flushes it out, it fills up the bottom fast and uh, my, the swell, I had swelling in my nose that I didn't even know existed that has reduced the inflammation inside my nose is gone it's crazy the stuff that you will flush out of your nose every day and if you say that well i want to uh, be exposed to the environments to help me uh, get over allergies or sickness or whatever you're still exposing yourself every day you're just flushing this stuff that sits in the back and probably causes your nose to become inflamed and uh, it works and it's great but anyway uh, finish enjoying my first time ever doing it. Toodaloo. Oh yeah. We oh, got a seal, you could hear it. I could feel it coming around the top of my throat a little bit, but it doesn't seem like the water level is dropping very fast. But they said it was all dependent on my na na nasal structure, but I could feel it going around the top of my throat. It's not going down my throat at all, but it's going around the back of my nose. So it's actually doing its thing. It's just that deviated septum I have is just taking this so long to go around. It doesn't have an open flow. But I'm going to stop it and switch to the other side see if I get a better flow through. Because that may be the side I have to use all the time. Ooeys. I'll show you the boogers, don't worry. I'm not one of those weirdos that's not going to show you the boogies. That's what you watch the videos for, is to see the boogies. Alright.
Oh yeah, that has a better. I think that has a better f flow. So I'm gonna have to do it that way possibly every time. But that definitely has a better flow to it. Feels weird. There's like this weird pressure in my nose because it's like sealed itself up separate from my throat, which is really weird. But you really don't feel much of anything. Alright, try that again. Okay, so my Deviative Septum didn't suck it through as fast as some of the other videos, so that might just take practice. It may come with more relaxation. Maybe I was pushing in too hard in my nose or something. I don't know, but uh, here's what we got out. You can see some of the floaties in there. It's like a little float parade going on in there. But I think it looks pretty effective i don't know if you can see that better there but that's everything that's my first time ever using this so but like i said i do spray my nose out often so i guess that kind of helps to not have some craziness that i've seen before on some videos and stuff but i'm excited to use this uh it feels like that's the appropriate amount of fluid to go through and really flush. I mean, you, you're going to get a nasal flushing like you've never received before, even through a neti pot. I don't think I've ever used that much water because it, it and the way my nose is just jacked up, I guess, from deviation, deviated septum. So if you're unsuccessful with a neti pot, sort of kind of like I was, this will work it just takes some time to work its way through and this might improve the more I use it but I'll leave that comment down there and I I really like it and I look forward to using it every day because man I'm telling you nasal irrigation what little bit I've been doing out of those Arm & Hammer spray cans that you can get I'll leave a link to those just so you can see what I'm talking about um, they work great I mean if anything give that a shot it's just I balance the money out I bought the device um, I think it's like seven or eight dollars a can and in that I may go through one like every two to three weeks So the money the value the better irrigation It just come out to be a better deal to go this route and then do the subscribe and save uh, With the pods uh, every 90 days from Amazon So I'll leave links to everything just so you can go check it out, but I do like the Navage It feels good there was only a little bit of water went down. I tried I had to burp one time, and I think that got me. But for the most part, I have a feeling if I'm not shooting a video or talking or just relaxing and doing it and actually probably more straight in a mirror looking dead on than what I was looking over at the uh, monitor, uh, it will do a better job than what it did there. But that's the very first try and first impressions ago. I really feel like if it keeps up at this pace and, and, and doesn't crap out that it's worth the investment so make sure to explode on that subscribe button ding that down so you get notified on the next product review that i got coming and i've got a whole counter in order of videos that i've got to do so good times are coming see ya